welcome back to the world's greatest elementary school. Today, official halfway point of our 2020 to 21 school year. Oh yeah. I can't believe how fast the first half of this year has gone and Tigers, there are a lot of changes happening in the second half of the year as we begin to transition some of our Tigers back to Shadow Lake. Oh yeah. So for all of our kindergarten, first grade, and third, second and third grade classes, we'll be changing next Monday, February 1st. All of your parents were emailed any changes to your classes and your new teachers. Some of you have been placed in a remote classroom and will continue to do all of your classes online, like you've been doing all year. And some of our Tigers have been assigned to a morning in-person class here at Shadow Lake, and that means you'll come to school from 8.15 to 10.45, and then you'll be home the rest of the day doing your specialist lessons and working on teachers at your work, work that your teacher is assigned to. Then in the afternoon, we will also have Tigers here for our afternoon hybrid classes. That means you will start your morning off at home doing your specialist lessons and work your teachers assigned to you and then you're going to come to school for class from 12.15 to 2.45 each day. We are so looking forward to our Tigers coming back. Oh yeah, wow, those are some big changes that we are so excited for. Now on Monday, February 1st, our kindergarten and first grade classes will begin their in-person learning models right here at Shadow Lake. So our AM students, you'll again attend from 8.15 to 10.45, and our PM classes will attend school from 12.15 to 2.45. Now on Monday and Tuesday of next week, all of our second, third, fourth, and fifth grade classes, you'll be doing remote learning classes. And then on Wednesday, February 3rd, we'll start bringing back our second and third grade classes for both our morning and afternoon classes here at Shadow Lake. Fourth and fifth graders, don't worry. We're gonna have some more information for you very soon about when we'll be starting to bring your classes back to Shadow Lake for in-person classes. Yeah, Tigers, it's so important that when we come back to school that we stay as safe as possible. That's the biggest thing. That means wearing our mask each day, maintaining social distancing as much as possible, and cleaning our hands and putting on hand sanitizer. Washing our hands and hand sanitizer are kind of the same thing, so just make sure that you're constantly doing that. Remember what we talked about last week with wearing masks? One to wear, one to spare. Make sure when you come to school you have a second mask in your backpack. As we get ready to start coming back to school, we will want you to start practicing wearing your masks at home. Maybe try wearing a mask a couple hours each day this week while you're doing things around your house. Now you'll notice, sometimes your mask can kind of slip down like mine is a little bit. You want to make sure that you tuck that up right over your nose and right under your chin. So you want to make sure you have one that fits well too. Tigers, just like Mr. Mitchell said, we want you all to stay as safe and healthy as possible when you come back to school. Now to help you with that, and to know what changes that we've made here at Shadow Lake to keep us all healthy, we've made some videos that we're gonna be sending out to families that you'll be watching with your families, and then also you're gonna be watching those videos with your classes. We also wanna tell you how important it is that you only come to school if you're feeling good and if you're feeling healthy. So if you're feeling sick at all, it's so important that you stay at home and not come to school. In fact, each day before you come to school, your parents are gonna be filling out an online health attestation form for you. That means they're gonna tell us if you're feeling healthy and if you're feeling good. It's very important to do this every day before you come to school. In fact, when you get to school each day, before you come on campus, one of our staff members is gonna be scanning a health ID card that we have for each of you. We'll be attaching these cards to your backpack. They have your picture and a little code on it that we can scan. When we scan the cards, it tells us if your parents have marked you as feeling healthy for that day. If we don't have a form filled out for you that day when you get to school, we won't be able to let you go to class. Instead, we would first send you to the gym to wait so we can contact your parents and have them fill out that daily health Ooh. check form for you. Yeah, that daily attestation health form is super important before you come to school every day. In fact, we want families to start practicing that this week. Each day starting this week, parents, you'll be getting the link to fill out for your students' daily health form. Just like we're practicing wearing masks this week, you can also practice filling out that daily health form that Mr. Abby was talking about. Hey, 
That's a lot of information. Yeah, it is. That's a lot of information to take in. Let's talk about some of the fun stuff, though. Is there a supply pickup this week? Yes, Mr. Mitchell. We do have a supply pickup this week for all of our new remote learning classes for kindergarten, first, second, and third grade, and for all of our fourth and fifth grade classes. So if you've been put into one of those remote learning classes, we want you to come this Thursday to go ahead and pick up your supply bags that you're going to need for those classes in fourth and fifth grade. We'd also invite you to come pick up those supply bags from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the Shadow Lake bus lane. Now, as always, if those times don't work for you and your family, please contact the Shadow Lake office to remain another, arrange another time to come and pick up your supply bags. Now, also for all of you remote learning students and our fourth and fifth graders, you can bring back your heart collage projects and all the Kindness Week hearts that Mrs. Person sent out to you um, at the supply pickups and turn those in this Thursday. Now for all of our remote learning students in K through three, you can bring back your, or all of our, excuse me, our in-person students, you can bring back your projects and your hearts next week when you come back to school. That's awesome, that's awesome. I'm so forward to seeing, looking forward to seeing all those art projects and kindness hearts. We need it. It's a good time to get yeah, it is. and to get all those hearts back. Mr. Abby, you heard that there's a lot going on with Lunch Bunches in the next few weeks, so tell us all about that. Yes, there is so much going on with Lunch Bunches. First of all, we have four, four. Lunch Bunches four. this four. week. What? Not the normal three, we have four. Today, we have our Kindergarten Lunch Bunch. Yes. And then tomorrow, Tuesday, is our third grade Lunch Bunch. Wednesday, we have Lunch Bunch for our fourth graders. And then get this, Friday, we are having a very special Lunch Bunch. We're bringing back Lunch Bunch yeah. All-Stars. All yes, all of our grade levels come to that Lunch Bunches. Now, Lunch Bunches this week will all be from 12 to 1230. Okay. And then the big change starting next week, we're going to be moving the time of Lunch Bunch. We want all of our students, whether you're a morning student, a remote student, or an afternoon PM student, to be able to attend lunch bunches. So starting on Monday, February 1st, we're moving lunch bunches to, from 11.15 to 11.40 so oh. everyone can attend. Yes, I love that. All right, everyone. Here's a picture of one of our amazing staff members with our tiger filter, which is awesome thing we've been doing this year. So, can you guess who's that tiger? Ooh, ooh, I think I know. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. yeah. See who it is? It's Miss Carolyn. Carolyn. She's one of our extended enrichment program staff members that some of you have been getting to know. So awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All right, Tigers, for Student Pop Spotlight for the month of January, we are recognizing our Tigers who are showing the trait of being effective communicators. Here are the names we'd like to recognize this week. Back for a minute into the kitchen floors are wet. And taps are still run and dishes are broken. How did we get? Way to go, Tigers. Now, for all of you who are recognized today, you're gonna to get a certificate in your next supply bag this Thursday, or for those of you coming to school, you'll get those when you return to school. Now, remember that teachers are gonna continue looking for effective communicators this week, and it's the last week of the month. So in all your class meetings and classes, and we'll be able to recognize more Tigers next week during Student Spotlight, and we'll tell you about what our February trait is. Nice, one of my other favorite segments this year has been story time. Hey, what's going on this week with story time, Mr. Abby? All right, Mrs. Smith, our librarian, is back reading another one of our award nominee books. She took a little bit of a break last week reading a book about Martin Luther King. This week, she's gonna be reading the book called The Very Impatient Caterpillar, and she'll be reading that right after the Pledge of Allegiance. So wait a minute, not, not the very hungry caterpillar? No, the very impatient caterpillar. It's a new one, I haven't heard yes. that one. All right, Tigers, we're gonna have a great week. At this time, please turn your attention to your teacher for the Pledge of Allegiance, and remember, it's a great day to be a tiger.
Hey, Tigers. Welcome back to the world's greatest elementary school. I'm Mrs. Smith. I'm super excited to read another award-winning book. So this week we are going to be reading The Very Impatient Caterpillar. Have you ever been impatient where you wanted something right now? Well, let's find out what happens to the very impatient caterpillar. He says, is it time yet? Oh, all right, I'm gonna take my mask off for this reading. But remember, time to start practicing wearing your mask if you don't wear it at home all the time. If you are coming back to school on February 1st, start practicing. So maybe while I'm reading this book, go put your mask on and practice wearing it while I'm reading this book. All right. Okay. The very impatient caterpillar. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're going to metamorphosize. That's a big word. Meta what now? Transform into butterflies. Right, 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 right. I knew that. I knew that. Wait, you're telling me I can become a butterfly? Yes. With wings? Yes. For real? Yes. <gasps> Wait for me. Now what? Build your chrysalis. Chrysalis. Right, right, right. I knew that. I knew that. What? How did you do that? Is it a spin or more of a twirl? Am I a butterfly yet? Ugh. Now what? Just be patient and let nature take its course. Patience. Oh, right, right, right. I got this. I got this. Am I a butterfly yet? No. How about now? No. Now? No. Be patient. I have a question. Not yet. You don't even know what I was going to ask. Fine. Ask. How's your day going? Also, am I a butterfly yet? No. Just be patient. Shh. We're trying to metamorphosize. Okay, okay. Obviously, I know this, but do you know how long this takes? Two weeks. Right, right, two weeks. Two weeks? Oh. What am I going to do in here for two weeks? Can I get a comic book or something? What if I need the bathroom? Anyone want to play a game? What if I want a snack? Hello? Two pizzas, please. My address? A chrysalis. Click. Hello? Hello? How long have I been in here? It's still day one? This is taking forever. That's it. I feel metamorphosized. Enough. It doesn't work like that though, does it? <gasps> Look out world. Feast your eyes on this beautiful butterfly. How do I look? Transformed? Time to spread my wings and fly. Uh-oh. Wait. Flap, 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 flap. Where are my wings? Splat! Oh no, time for a new approach. Okay, you can do this. You can be patient. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't be patient. Get a grip, you can. I can't, I can't. You are the little caterpillar that could. I am the little caterpillar that couldn't. You can. I can't. 
You can. I can't. You can. I can't. Can. Can't. Look at this squirrel. He's like, what is going on up there? I can be patient. Patience is all in the mind. Be one with the chrysalis. Look at day one, day two, day three, day four. He says, deep breath in, day five, and out. Day six, look, it's day six. Day seven, I'm doing it. Day eight, just be patient. Day nine, just be patient. Day 10, 11, two weeks later. <gasps> I did it! I'm a butterfly! Yay! What a beautiful butterfly. <gasps> you know, I do feel transformed. Starting now, I'm going to be way more patient. That's great. Hey, where are you all going? We're migrating. <gasps> migrating. Right, right, right. Wait for me. Are we there yet? Ugh. <laughs> and that is the very impatient caterpillar. All right. Well, that was a funny story, right? That caterpillar had a lot to learn about being patient, just like we do. We are so excited to have everybody start school at some point. Um, we just have to be patient a little longer. So keep wearing your mask, practice wearing your mask, wash your hands, all of that good stuff to stay safe. All right, Tigers, we will hopefully see you soon. Take care. Bye.